Hello friends, good morning. Uh, today we'll discuss about the paging operations in LTE. So paging messages are transmitted in all uh, cells within uh, the tracking area or the tracking areas by the uh, radio base station or inode base on the physical downlink SAD channel. Uh, the paging radio network temporary identity or PRNTI is broadcasted on uh, PDCCH where the information about the modulation and coding scheme of the PD uh, SCH data containing the RC paging message is found. So that's the initial information about the paging information uh, sent in uh, you know PD SCH and how to get the information from the PDCCH. The information in the PDCCH is transmitted with a cyclic redundancy check or the CRC which is scrambled with the PRNTI or the paging RNTI as I already explained which uh, notifies the UE about the presence of the paging message within the same subframe. So that's how we came to know about the paging subframe and uh, when a UE detects a PRNTI or paging RNTI on the PDCCH or physical downlink control channel it demodulates and decodes the paging message contained in the PDSCH and forwards it over the paging channel or PCH to the MAC layer or the medium access control as you already know. Uh, if I'll talk about the flow, so the MME or the mobility management entity initiates a paging uh, message which is uh, sent to all the inode bees in the tracking area or the tracking areas uh, through S1 application protocol paging message from MME to the inode B. Uh, in, uh, from inode B to uh, UE it is uh, RRC paging okay and uh, then the random access procedure happens after the paging information is sent to the UE. Uh, they use the random access uh, procedure to initiate uh, access to the serving cell uh, from where we have received the RRC paging. So then uh, you know the NAS messaging continues in order to set up a call from the UE, uh, this NAS uh, service, request, uh, service request is sent to Enode B and then the Enode B forwards it to the MME. Okay, the S1 through the S1 application protocol, initial UE uh, message. Okay, so that is transmitted uh, for you know NAS service request and Enode B uh, UE signaling uh, connection ID also. So through a connection ID, we send the NAS service request uh, from the inode B to the MME. So that's all about the pacing and uh, in the next uh, uh, video, we'll be covering all the pacing parameters for you and uh, that will be a very important session for you. So please do keep watching the videos. Do like, subscribe, uh, comment and share the videos. For more updates thank you so much till then take care stay happy and bye bye